your latest uh, pieces of art, I guess we can call it, is uh, you and Seth Rogen, mm -hmm. while filming the interview in Vancouver, released a parody of uh, uh, Bound 2 by Kanye and uh, called Bound 3. Yeah. And so I'm curious where the idea for that came from. And given Kanye West's uh, antics in the media, he and Jimmy Kimmel got into like a Twitter feud earlier in the year. He's very vocal opinion and opinionated. Mm -hmm. Were you wary of any backlash that you might face from uh, Kanye West? Um... It was, um, we were shooting the interview in Vancouver, the video came out, and then Seth wrote me an email one night and said, check this out, um, try to learn some of the lines. I said, okay. So I came the next day, and um, I was like, what's up? And he's, and he's like, well, I want to I wanna recreate some of it. So they had a green, we had a stage next to the stage we were working on. They put up a green screen and a motorcycle. And um, at first, I think he was just sort of figuring out what he wanted to do. And so he just intended to shoot part of it. And then I had actually done certain things where I recreated other movies shot for shot. So like we redid the shower sequence from Psycho, Hitchcock's mm -hmm. Psycho shot for shot in slow motion. So I think, I don't, I don't want to take, I don't know if I get full credit, but I, I think I kind of hinted at the idea that we could actually do the whole thing shot for shot. Mm -hmm. And so he got really excited about that, and, and Jason, the, the guy that shot it for us, um, liked that too. And so um, that became the project, and it actually did not take that long. Mm -hmm. um, um, took about three lunches and a little bit more and um, and we had shot the whole thing. I actually like the video. I mean, it's, it's you know, it's admittedly like, I mean, it just shows the fact that we could do it almost shot for shot over three lunches kind of shows how, in some ways, how simple it is. Mm -hmm. I think that's sort of the point. They are showing, a, you know, Kim and Kanye are showing a very personal side of themselves. There they are together. If they had done, you know, a video that was more kind of earnest or less kind of fantastical, goofy, that maybe would be even more kind of sickening. Like, I'm sure people would hate it even more. Like, this is, you know, like, if it was all, like, beautiful and flashy and... Um, I'm sure they'd get the same, you know, kind of backlash. Mm -hmm. So... In some ways, I think they're very, you know, and I truly believe this. I think some, in some ways they're very brave to just put themselves out there like that. Yes, it's very self-involved, but that's, I, I also think it's a legitimate way to make art, you know, use the self as a, um, um, a model to kind of talk about larger things. And... Um, but Seth just thought it was a you know silly video, so I, I think that's why he wanted to do it, and um, and so I thought yeah you know he might hate it he might you know Kanye might hate it, um, but I also knew that Kanye was a big fan of Seth, so the the feedback that I heard about was that um, Kim tweeted At Seth, yeah. Seth and said she thought it was really funny and that. Kanye also thought it was funny, but considering how vocal um, Kanye usually is, the fact that he didn't write anything about it was a little suspicious, but um, <laughs> who knows? Yeah. And last question to wrap it up. You're a Renaissance man, you've done acting, art, teaching, what have you. What's one thing you haven't done yet that you've always wanted to do? You've done it all. Yeah, I mean, I'll continue. To, <laughs> I'll continue to do it. But I mean, I've, I like I said, I you know, if I think about my my young dreams, I feel like I've achieved them. Cool, awesome. I'd like to thank you for joining all right. us today, and uh, have a happy holidays. Cool, man. Happy thank holidays. You. All right. Thank <laughs> you.
Everybody's staying in town for the holidays? Yep. How are you? How's Pally this year? Are you all graduating? Yep. We have a new principal this year. Oh, who's that? Kim Yoria. Kim Yoria. 